backyard today. Gonna shoot my bow and set up a new target that I will show you. Then we have a new yellow jacket that I got at Walmart at 30 yards. And I'm gonna shoot these targets today and I'll show you how it goes. Okay. We're gonna shoot one arrow here at 10 yards. That's not too difficult. We'll shoot two at 20 and then two at 30. Here goes the first shot. Dead center. Now we're going to shoot at 20 yards. I'm going to shoot one arrow aiming for the lungs and one arrow aiming for the heart. Perfect long shot. We got Molly back here with us today. She's well. And here's my second shot. Going for the heart. Perfect. Okay, now I haven't shot at this target yet, so you're going to witness the first two shots. Probably a few more. It's around 40 degrees today, so it's pretty nice. Not my best shot. But it definitely was not a bad shot. I'm aiming right for the middle part. Of the target. Here's the fifth shot. That was terrible. I shot one target at 10, two at 20, and two at 30. Here's my 10 yard shot. For my 10 yard, I aimed right in the middle, but shot a little to the left. I'm gonna show you my 20 yard shot which I'd consider pretty good. They're a little to the left, just like all my other shots, but you'll see. And now here are my 20 yard shots. I aimed about here when I was aiming for the lungs and about here when I was aiming for the heart, which it hit, they both hit a little to the left, which I think my sight's going to the left or I'm just not holding that right. Now I'm going to show you guys the 30 yard target, which are my first two shots at the 30 yards in a long time, but they're also my first two shots at this specific target. We got Molly up here with us this time, decided to follow me. But like I said, I was aiming right for the center, and they both hit to the left, which is not good. So that means my sight is going to the left. So I gotta adjust it. I'll do that later. But right now, I'm gonna collect all my arrows from my three targets. And then I'm gonna go back and shoot again. Back here, where I shoot, the, where I shoot from. And I have this tree stand set up here that I got for Christmas. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to shoot my bow and practice? from up there shoot at my range back here now I would do that but I have no way of getting my bow into the tree safely and I don't really want to set up a whole line system so that I can so I'm gonna continue shooting from the ground and I'll see you guys in a few seconds okay right, so I'm back where I shoot but this time instead of shooting one at 10, two at 20, and two at 30. I'm gonna shoot all five arrows at 30 yards. 
because what I know is that if you aim far, farther than you're comfortable, and you aim small, then you're guaranteed to eventually hit small. So here goes the first shot, 30 yards. That was a much better shot than my two earlier. Here goes my second shot. Thirty yards. Again, much better. Now I am holding to the left just a probably two or three inches. But I'm hitting the target. That is all that left. Another good shot. Goes number four. Perfect. This group is much better. So I know now that I'm going to have to adjust either my sight or my rest when I get back inside. Okay. Now, you might be wondering what this red thing is here on my bow. Up to the target with Molly again. And I was aiming like right about here. At the edge of his, the wasp's wing this time, instead of dead center. So, I'm definitely thinking that it might very well be my sights, but it also might be that I haven't shot my bow in quite a, quite a while. Actually, since the last bow video. But... Not too happy with this group, but I'm always happy to come outside, spend some time getting some fresh air with the dog, shoot my bow, practicing for deer season. Okay, now that's where I'm going to sign off for today. I'm going to collect these arrows, then I'm going to head back inside. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time on Chalmers Outdoor Adventures. Have a good day.